Alhamdulillah, Alama bil Qalam, Alama al-Insan ma lam ya'lam. Wa ashiru an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah. Wa ashiru anna Muhammadin abduhu wa rasuluhu. Sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam. Amma ba'd. I decided, which is a, uh, for us to go over very important treaties, which is Arba'in Anoui by Imam Anoui, Rahmatullahi Rahmatul Wasiya, a great Imam of Ahl Sunnah. And just to give a little basic background about Imam Anoui, he had, uh, he, he was a great alim, and I believe he died at around 40 years of age. He never married, and he devoted his life to ilm, to learning Islam and teaching Islam, to teaching ilm al -shar. And Imam Anawi, rahmatullahi amongst his many great books is this book, uh, Arba'in Anawi. And the way we're going to treat this treatise is we're just going to give you the meanings of the hadith, the meanings and some benefits from the hadith, and keep it very short, very simple, so that way we can finish it and you'll have studied each hadith in Arba'in and Awwi. You'll have studied each hadith and have benefit <coughs> from each hadith in the Allah Ta'ala. And so, beginning, it's very important for us to understand the importance of knowledge in the deen. And that this treatise, Arba'in and Awwi, uh, is comprised of 40 ahadith or 40 hadith and that these 40 hadith that they comprise uh, aqidah, creed they also have to do with uh, you know the pillars of Islam which of course is to do with your creed and even and mu'amalat, how you deal with people you know how to treat people right how to have uh, good and righteous manners. And so the Prophet وسلم, said in regards to ilm, Man salaka tariqan yaltalmasuhu bihi ilman sahalallahu lahu tariqan al jannah. Whenever uh, a person travels on the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path of jannah. So getting to jannah one of the criterion or things that will help you to get to Jannah is knowledge. Knowledge of Islam. Al Mashar, Al Manafi. And the Prophet said, May Yiradullah bihi khayran yifakufidin. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, he gives him understanding of the religion. And so the scholars they mention with that hadith is that when someone isn't given knowledge of the deen, that they stay ignorant of the deen. They don't learn anything about Islam. They don't increase their knowledge. They don't learn about Salat. They don't learn about Tahara. They don't increase themselves. That that shows that Allah doesn't love them. The opposite. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Prophet said, May yur the law be khayran. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, he, he gives them understanding of the deen. He teaches them about the deen. Meaning the opposite, that whenever Allah doesn't want good for someone, that they stay ignorant in jahil, that it's a sign that Allah doesn't want good for them. That this person, they don't make efforts to learn about their deen, so Allah does not need them. Because we learn about the deen to come closer to Allah. You know, uh, ilm is ibadah. It's a type of worship that ilm, we don't just gain ilm just to have books or just to memorize, but the knowledge is to practice and know how to come worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala better. That's why we gain the knowledge. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we have in Kareem, يَرْفَعَ اللَّهِ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْكُمْ وَالَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْعِلْمَ دَرَجَاتِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that Allah raises those who believe from amongst you and those who are given knowledge darajat. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raises the people of knowledge. They're raised. Because look at Imam Anoui. Imam Anoui, uh, you know, lived over how many hundreds of years ago? 
Imam Anoui, Rahmatullah Ali. It doesn't, uh, Thalathamiya, and the Alam Wahid, and Thalathin, that is Sitamiya, Lil Hijri. So, So he, he died approximately and lived around 631 Hijri. That means about, uh, about 800 years ago, Imam Noah was alive. 800, not 100, 800 years ago he was, is when he died. Letting us know that we, and we still read his books. And scholars of Islam still mention his name. Every, most households, they have Riyadh Salihim, they have uh, Armin Anoui. These are the books you have in there. He's one of the great, has one of the greatest explanation, explanations of Sahih Muslim. It's by Imam Anoui. So his name, as, as we mentioned in the ayat, Yurfa'i Allah ladina amanu, wa ladina utu ilma darjat, that Allah raises up the people who believe and those who are given knowledge to different levels. Imam Anoui, this is the deal that he was one of those people, a believer, and he was raised darajat because of his ilm, because he, we are mentioning him in this gathering 800 years later. So that shows the fadl of ilm and the importance of ilm. So we'll begin our treaties and, uh, and our, our study uh, with the first hadith after this uh, and so I just wanted to speak very briefly about the importance of knowledge and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil